Good morning, everybody. It is April 15th, Thursday, Thursday. The, the week is coming to a close. Faster, faster. It seems like it goes faster all the time. I'm just going to do a quick check here to make sure that I'm working, 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 working. Where am I? Here I am. Have to do the tech check. Just the way life is. Let's see here. Testing, working, testing, testing, working, testing. Working. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. So I am going to, let's see, let's hide this little guy so that you can see what's going on in Las Vegas today. So in April so far, whew, my gosh, we have done 1,741 transactions. That's 124 a day. That's fantastic, everybody. So fantastic. And yesterday you listed 136 homes, which is really good. That puts us back above the 0.64 and now we're at 0.656. I love that. Keep moving that little dial up there. If we could get 0.7, that would be wonderful. We shall see. We also closed 125 yesterday, which is right on par with the 125 average for this month. So gosh, I love it when it works. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. So good to see you. Good to see you. Frank is always doing things that I would love to do. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, yeah, we're still, let's see. I don't know why that's doing that. Hang on. Let me fix this. See if I can fix it. Fix, 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 hide and come back. Hide and come back. There we go. Uh, let's see. We are selling 64% more expensive homes over a million dollars than we did last year. I just think that's relevant to what the market is doing. So everybody knows that. Good morning. Good morning, Leslie. Did you see my smile? <laughs> Leslie posted um, about smiling today, and, and I remembered that I used to um, post this a lot. I saw a person without a smile, so I gave them mine. So I, uh, I shared that today with everybody. Um, All righty. So, yeah, the market is still hot, still hot. And today we're going to talk about Facebook because, you know, we need to be taking advantage of this market. And one of the ways you take advantage of the market is you go where the people are, are looking at homes. And of course, it's on the internet and people are on Facebook. And so you have a chance to build an audience. And in September, last September, with version five of Facebook, they came up with, you know, a whole new platform with whole new features, many new features, and they're still rolling some of those features out. We're going to talk about them today. Oh, my gosh. There you are, Annette. Happy, happy Thursday. I agree. Wonderful day. Wonderful day. Thank you all for joining me today. It means everything to me. Anyway, so um, I want to talk about Facebook. You have an opportunity right now. Let's take it's April. If we just get on the bandwagon and start doing more Facebook exposure and creating, now we create content for you. So there's no excuse if you're an Agent Formula member, there's thousands of items which include articles about Las Vegas, the lifestyle, the hospitals, the schools, and the uh, shopping that we have and the strip. And then we also go into uh, all the communities and we are um, in the process of updating those. It takes a little time to make them good. So, but in the next month, we'll be uploading some uh, more of the new communities that we're having. And then we've got landing pages. Oh my gosh. And we just added 10 more landing pages and we've got um, quotes that we add. We keep adding to the quotes. Uh, blogs that we add every day we add a blog so there's for, you got the content you just need to get it out there in front of the people and start creating your audience and you've got to stay front and center you have to do that and there, I mean you have to do it because otherwise you're missing a fantastic opportunity you know if you do an open house video I mean it goes out there and you can boost it now and target and retarget and we're going to talk a little bit about that today so before I let me, I have an outline here. So before I get carried away, so let's, <clears throat> let's talk about the four pillars. In Facebook, you have the ads, you have the ads manager, you have audiences and targeting, you have budget and strategies, and you have reporting and optimizing using analytics to improve if necessary. So, and then we're going to talk click versus link clicks. There's a difference there. So when you're building an audience, you want to know all these things. And you know, I'm really jazzed because we're we're doing our face we're doing our um, 
Facebook and LinkedIn class next week, the 19th, I believe it is. I have to double check the calendar, but I think it's the 19th. Um, and it's, uh, let's see, 11 to, what, <laughs> Kane changed the times on me. Uh, 11 to 2, Kane, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to check the calendar. Isn't that terrible? I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, so excited about that. And it's a two-day class, three hours each day, 11 to 1. We changed the times. Yeah, we did. So it's 11 to 1. Um, I think it's Monday and Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday. Give you a break in between because we give you homework. <laughs> How cool is that? And a lot of new exciting things that we're going to be teaching. If you've taken the class before, you can take it again for free. If you haven't, it's 449 and you'd get six hours of training, plus we give you four ads. Now, let me just tell you something. You know, I have a lot of mentors, and one of the mentors I have is from Canada. And I was listening to her this weekend talk about, you know, Facebook ads. And her, she has a little boot camp, you know, about Facebook ads. But really, if you don't want to take the class, if you don't want to spend the money, and if you want to create your own ads, there's people out there that will do step by step how you create an ad. Well, you can go on Facebook business page and they'll do the same thing for you for free. You just follow along what they do. The difference is what our class does. We don't teach you how to do Facebook ads necessarily. We prepare your whole strategy starting with your internet presence on LinkedIn, making sure that you are becoming relevant on LinkedIn, because when people look you up, once you get out there on Facebook and people start looking you up, they go to Google you and guess what? You come up on, on LinkedIn and they're gonna look at your profile. So we teach you how to, to uh, update it, create it, change it, how to post to it, how to post your landing pages to it. We give, if you don't have an Asian Formula website, we give you one for free for one month to get your content out there. And then you have that content forever to use. So it's not like um, you don't get the upgraded content unless you continue to be a member with us. But if you take the class, you get it one month for free. And then you have everything you need to follow along in the class and, and take advantage of the landing pages and all the materials that we give you. We give you marketing videos, we give you all these things. So anyway, my point was, <laughs> my point was, that you, it, you don't have time, really, in my opinion, to constantly create ads. So we create the ads for you. We just prepare you so that when you these ads start engaging with you, that you have the right internet presence, the right things on LinkedIn, your Facebook personal pages properly um, configured and you're using it properly, not putting everything to public, and then your business page and targeting and how you promote it first and then how you get, uh, we boost and how you get to the different like levels. Because what people don't tell you is that until you have a, about 300 likes, you're not gonna be in front of as many people. But that's okay. That happens as fast as you want it to happen. So we teach you how to do that. And then we give you the ads. And the secret is showing you how to target the audiences that you're going to put those ads out to and how to retarget. So, so in targeting, I'm just going to give you some tips today for all of those who have been following me and taking our class and whatever. We, we've talked about targeting a lot. And you know that about what a year ago now, the fair housing, uh, when Zuckerberg was in the uh, Congress and they made, they made them do special ad categories. So that's why we say go broader because the special ad category, um, which is real estate, there's uh, employment, there's uh, mortgages, uh, real estate, and I forget the fourth one right off the top of my head. But anyway, you are in the special ad category of real estate. So you want to use some specific interests. There's real estate investing, there's Zillow, and other types that we, we're going to show you in class. And you can also, uh, and that, uh, gee, I don't know if John Matz is listening today, but John and I used to love it when you could demographic the, the price range, right? So you could demographic people that made 100000 a year. So that if you were, you knew what, houses to put in front of those people, right? Now think about this. 
So you knew what houses to put in front of what demographic, the people that made from 100 to 200, from 200 to 300. And you could do that and you could choose the houses. So Kane and I recently reverse engineered that to do the landing pages for the different price ranges. So we, we reverse engineered that so that you can get to that right demographic um, using our landing pages. And we're gonna show you how to do that in class as well. So the other thing, let's say that uh, you're not after buyers necessarily, you're after sellers. So you can use that drop pin. Now, because you're in the special ad category, you can only go 15 miles. Um, you can't narrow it down anymore. Um, so you can broaden your audience, but you can't narrow it and you can't use zip codes. So you can't go smaller than 15 miles. We used to be able to like, you know, do a zip code. We could do like a, uh, we could uh, put a circle around Summerlin or Green Valley, but you can't do that anymore. So, but there's ways around that too. And we're going to show you some secrets. Um, so when, if you're looking for buyers, uh, and you can use that drop pin in the cities and you go to the top five states that are moving here for buyers. Makes sense, right? So that's another way to target and get around the, the uh, special ad category. And so there is a workaround to help target tighter for sellers. And we're going to show you how to do that too. Um, now, targeting is is... Facebook has gotten so, so many new features with targeting. Um, it's amazing. So in order to get more creative, uh, you need to practice. That's, that's simply stated. You've got to practice to become more creative. And initially, you'll reach more relevant people if you're if you use engaging videos in your ad. So of course we've tried many, many different videos and uh, we, we've kind of zeroed it in on the ones that we get the best engagement. So you want, uh, now, now once you do the ad, we're gonna show you how you go back and look at the people that looked at that ad for three seconds. Now, the video for three seconds, I mean, excuse me. You're going to get to be able to target the people, retarget the people that looked at that ad for three seconds, right? Because they were engaged. That three second mark is the engagement mark. And then you also don't want your, you don't want your video to be too long. And ours are like 15 seconds. So I think maybe the virtual tour one is a little bit longer, but it's very engaging. So people watch that longer. So initially, it'll reach more relevant people if you're using that engage, if you're using engaging videos. And then you want the three second views. So you can retarget those people. And that's really clever because what you do when you retarget is you're starting to build an audience, right? You're starting to build an audience and you're starting to build an audience of people that are interested in what you have to offer information virtual tours, you know, whatever the different subjects are that we're going to teach you. And then you can retarget those people. You can retarget website visitors. Wow. How about that? So when you do those landing pages, you can go and you can retarget the people that went to your website. How cool is that? I mean, do you see how you're narrowing down your funnel? It's pretty, pretty cool. And so you you can create an audience that has been to your website in the last 180 days. And then you can also at the same time eliminate the people that just visited it seven days ago because, you know, you don't want to bombard them, right? Because uh, they'll think you're spamming them. Lots of new things, lots of new things. So uh, the other thing is if when we do the lead form, lead gen ad, which we give you, um, you can retarget based on who opened those forms. I mean, that's really cool. And then there's the instant experience. Now that's a little bit harder work, but we, we're gonna show you how you do it. A little bit harder work, lots of work actually. I don't know if it's harder, but it's lots of work, you know, but that's how you convert. It takes work. Um, now let's talk just, I. I Let's get off video for a second. Let's talk about carousel ads. Carousel ads cost lower. In other words, you're going to pay less per um, engagement. Okay, you're going to pay less for engagement on a carousel ad or less. If it, even if it's a lead gen ad, you're going to pay less. Okay, however, they're not as relevant. 
Okay, but Facebook has an answer to that as well, because once you get, you're going to probably get what you're going to get if you spend $200, um, you're going to get more, let's say you're going to get 200 people. Okay, those 200 people now you can retarget to whittle it down to those people that are more relevant. So that's another strategy that works, works really well. And then over time, the quality of your audience will continue to increase and it'll become stronger. So yes, this takes time, but it takes tactics and strategies that we teach you. You know, in other words, the strategies and tactics are very, very important, much more important than uh, me standing up there and teaching you how to create an ad when you can go and do that yourself. All right. The important thing is that we know Facebook. We have a website with thousands of items of value. We give you ads and and we're in real estate. So I think, we, you know, we, we the, the one, two, three, right? The Buffini one, two, three and the Jimmy Dagg one, two, three. Well, we got our one, two, three also. Anyway, the magic is in the retargeting and the interest level increases over time. And I'm talking like five, six months. So if we get started now. You know, as time rolls on and this market gets a little softer, which I mean, I'm not saying it's going to, but let's say the experts say we have till 2023. Well, we'll see. Right. But if we start now and we start and continue to build these audiences that are interested, because I mean, there's there's so much that's going into this uh, strategy because we People will tell you, not me necessarily, but uh, Grant Cardone will tell you, uh, Gary Vee will tell you, um, some of the experts out there with social media and marketing will tell you that people, you've got to touch people like sometimes 25 times before they're just going to respond to you. So you have to have something that really works and you're building it. And the stronger your audience is, the more likely that on that 25th or 36th touch, they're going to say, I want to buy a home. I want to sell my home. That's what we're after, right? Uh, Facebook ads do work, but it's, it's the content, it's the retargeting, it's all these strategies that make them work. There is, um, you can create predictable ads with so, okay, so let me talk about this for a second. Um, you want to create an ad that works. So we're going to give you some ads that work and you're going to, we're going to show you how you go in and look to see, of course, how many leads you got or how much engagement you got. And out of those four ads, you might want to just use one of them and make it a lifetime ad. Okay. In other words, it's just going to $5 a day and it's just going to run, 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 run. And I'm going to tell you why. I think that's my next slide. Maybe, maybe. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> what Facebook does, Facebook is really, it's AI, it's artificial intelligence is getting smarter and smarter all the time. So what Facebook does when you, when that ad is going over time, you're giving Facebook time to optimize, to optimize your audience, not the ad, but your audience and the engagement, because Facebook's going to learn when they put it in front, because Facebook puts it in front of people, right? Let's say they're interested in real estate or Zillow or real estate investing. So Facebook's, first of all, the other thing is Facebook knows you're real estate because you're in the special ad category. So that gives Facebook a heads up. And also now you are um, uh, targeting in, 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 your, uh, in your interests people that are interested in real estate. Okay, so now you've got those two things going for you. The third thing is that Facebook, Facebook now, when you run this ad continually, we'll put it in front of audiences. And if it doesn't engage, guess what? Facebook moves it to a different audience. Facebook wants you to be successful because if you're not, you're not coming back. So Facebook, if you give it time, it will shift your ad into different groups until it performs. Here's the one caution. If you're doing this yourself or if you've already, if you have our ads already, don't monkey with the campaign or Facebook starts you back at, at day one. So even though that ad has been running for 45 days and all of a sudden you think you want to change it and you change it, you're back to day one. So all those 45 days of optimization have gone away. 
and you don't want that, right? So you need to find the pick the ad that gets the kind of engagement you want. So you might be running this ad for seven days, let's say. I think that's a good gauge. Let's say you run four ads, five dollars per day, four ads, that's twenty dollars a day for seven days. So you're gonna spend about $140, but you're gonna see which ad performed the best in that length of time. Then you're gonna take that best performing ad and you are going to give it a lifetime budget of five dollars a day and then of course every week you're going to have to look at what's going on with that ad and hopefully you're going to see in a couple weeks where it's getting better engagement does that make sense yeah hi hi good morning bill hi bill good morning good morning good morning bill and there's karen hi karen yes you made it love that love it so um Let's see, where was I? Video content, screws are getting tough. Yes, yes. Okay, video content. So if you're not doing video content, here's what's happening to you. And Annetta, I've got to give you a shout out. I see your, your video ads and they are getting tremendous engagement. You're getting a lot of views. Your Desert Shores, when I looked at it yesterday, the Desert Shores um, video that you did, Annetta, got 113 views, like in a very short period of time. So you're gaining, uh, you're gaining points. So here's how Facebook works. When you do live videos, um, even though it's tough to get started, everybody will tell you, oh my gosh, but you got to do it. You get into a routine and then you'll get comfortable. You know, you'll find your style. We talk about that all the time. You're going to find your style. You're going to find out, hey, I mean, I wear these glasses, right? I mean, a friend of mine says, oh my gosh, I can't stand those glasses. And then 10 people told me they loved them. Well, <laughs> so I wear them. You know, it's an attention getter. So whatever it is, whatever style you want to, to use, you know, um, always make sure I have my red lipstick on. Always make sure I have my glasses on. I try to follow Mari Smith with longer earrings, you know, little things. Find your comfort zone, whatever it is. And when you get into a routine and get comfortable, live video will get you, let's say, 100 points. Or if you record the video because you want to wait till you're absolutely perfect, you only get 10 points. So if you think about it, you get 10 times more uh, Facebook juice. You get more uh, engagement when you do live video. And so you need to build more video content. And, and a couple, maybe a month ago, I gave you all those subjects that you can do a video about and how you do, uh, you know, pick a day and be consistent. And we can review that again, whenever you want to. Um, and I just get excited because this stuff works. So what is your budget? Your minimum to, to, to make a difference on Facebook is five to 600 a month. It is, it is, it just is. The thing about it is, though, you, you know, uh, so five, that's 6,000 a year. I mean, that's less than a deal, right? And you are going to get engagement in the meantime. And if you follow up, you're going to get, a, you have got to get at least one if you're doing lead conversion, which we teach you how to do that too. Um, so we teach you how to promote, how to boost, and we give you ads, and then we show you how you retarget the ad, target the ads and retarget the ads for your success. And you probably would also, we're gonna give you some evergreen lifetime lead capturing $5 a day ads. You want those. And the longer, we talked about this earlier, the longer it goes, you'll get AI optimized by Facebook, meaning it's gonna continue because you're competing in that news feed, don't forget. So Facebook will continue to shift your ad until it performs. So don't monkey with that campaign, like I said earlier. And uh, somebody somebody said to me, oh, you know, I was running an ad for three months and I noticed I had a spelling error. So I went back and, and corrected it. And all of a sudden, instead of paying two or three dollars per lead with a uh, name, address, and phone number. I started having to pay five dollars. Well, it was because she changed the ad, which then Facebook put her back to ground zero, and then it climbed back up to just three dollars per lead. So anyway, don't monkey, don't monkey with the campaign because everything resets. Um, okay, so I think did I say anything else in this? I just kind of okay. So I said this in the beginning. The hottest market in our careers is here. You know, 
houses sell as soon as they hit the market. So you can promote a video of a property. Take advantage of the strong viewership right now. I spelled that wrong. Viewship. <laughs> viewership. Take advantage of it. Take go on and 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 do a video of a home. And that's what people they're people's live. I'm talking live like Annette is doing. She's doing these live videos. She's going out there. Uh, she did one about a perfect spot for a restaurant. You know, she's she's getting in front of a lot of different people. Yeah. Now what I need and hopefully um, Annette will come soon. I need to see her and show her how now take those audiences and retarget to those audiences because she's getting views. She's getting views. And that and that a, you you've got a gold mine there. I'm just telling you, you've got a gold mine, and you're taking advantage of this this market, the hottest market in our careers. I will guarantee that. I mean, I can I can put my name on that one. Um, so we're gonna uh, promote the property, take advantage of the viewership. There's value in capitalizing to an audience for seven days. Don't worry. You know, people keep saying, "Oh, they're gonna get tired of me." Do you think everybody's watching you every time you go live? No, they're not, you know? And so one day of those seven days, they're going to want to see, oh, what, what, what's it in that? Oh, Desert Shores. Yeah, I heard about Desert Shores in Vegas. So anyway, I digress. Um, let's see. Boosting is train. Oh, and and one of the things that we teach you too is, is boost. Boosting is your training wheels for ads, you know, and in the last month or so, the boost function now allows you to do custom audiences. Oh, Annette, you're coming to Buffini. Oh, thank God. I can't wait. That's fantastic news. Um, yeah, so you can create the custom audience. There's just so much we can do now. And um, very exciting, very exciting because, you know me, I've been a proponent of Facebook and Facebook advertising uh, for years. And, um, and then... Tomorrow, we're going to show you if I can get Kane here to help me tomorrow, uh, our new landing page and how to use it. And uh, one little tip I will tell you, and Annetta, I, I'm going to tell you this for sure, because I know you used to be a bartender. Facebook will give you demerits if you mention alcohol in your ads. So I know that you do that one uh, thing in the restaurant. So we need to talk about that or maybe let me uh, let me investigate it with you to see if it uh, might be hurting you more than helping you. Um, <clears throat> it's probably really good for what you're doing for your for your marketing, but I don't know if I do a live video about it. And I don't know if you are, because I haven't seen that one. But anyway, don't mention alcohol because it'll reject your ad. So there's a lot of reasons why Facebook rejects ads and you can always appeal it if you think they're wrong and then you get to talk to a real person. <laughs> so anyway, wow. Whew. We are doing a class today from two to five. Um, it's uh, agency today, and it's really a good class. Jimmy Digg, two to five here at 8400 West Sahara, or Zoom in. Go to bee.vegas to sign up. Um, I'm, you know, I, I should be. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think I have it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll just type it in. Hold on. I can add it. Okay. Just so everybody knows, just so everybody knows, if you don't know already, you go to B, go to B-E-E-D-V-E-G-A-S. No dot, no com, nothing like that. And you sign up for the um, class today. Or if you want to also sign up for the class on Monday, um, the social media class. And again, if you've taken it before, come back, come back. If you're taking it before, we don't charge you. So, but you get the advantage of all the new, the, the new bells and whistles with Facebook and some of the other things that uh, we're going to teach you. So, sign up for our class today. We have Buffini tomorrow from one to three. It's not too late to sign up for Buffini either because we'll give you the replay of last week. The first week is usually, you know, basic stuff. So it's uh, does it's a refresher, and then then we're starting to get into the the nitty gritty this week. So if you want to sign up for Buffini, go on uh, be.vegas. There's a sign up for Buffini there. There's a sign up for our class today. There's a sign up for Be Social Savvy, uh, our class, uh, our Facebook and LinkedIn class. Thank you all. So exciting to bring you all this information and I was so jazzed I could get it all together today. <laughs> Love you all. See you tomorrow.